In this video, we'll use Windows PowerShell to check if your system, your PC or laptop, has TPM version 2.0, which is a requirement of the new Windows 11. If you're familiar with TPM, if you're familiar with Windows PowerShell, you can skip straight to the instructions using the chapter skip thing down in the, the description below. Computrain. Welcome. Microsoft have announced that Windows 11 will be out fairly soon at the time of making this video and one of the system requirements is TPM 2.0. Now this stands for Trusted Platform Module. It's not a new technology, it's been around for a number of years now, but some systems perhaps that are a few years old will not have this module or chip within the board or embedded in the system. This means that these slightly older computer systems simply will not meet the system requirements for the new Windows 11 operating system. Let's use Windows PowerShell to use on Windows 10 at the moment. Uh, let's use Windows PowerShell to check right now if your system is ready and if it indeed has TPM, which is Trusted Platform Module. We open Windows PowerShell, right click on the start menu, take Windows PowerShell admin. Uh, then yes, to confirm that you want to make changes, although we're not going to be making any changes to the system in this particular process. We want to, within Windows PowerShell, uh, type get-tpm and hit enter and the results will show straight away. If the result shows that TPM ready comes back as false, unfortunately your system will live and die with Windows 10. It will simply, as things stand, it will not take uh, the new Windows 11 update when that does finally see its release. So that's how to check very quickly if your system has the new trusted platform module, uh, which of course is a module within the computer. It's a good thing. It's, it's to do with data encryption and uh, to step up security to prevent malware attack on the systems. So it is a good technology. However, uh, with the introduction of this being a system requirement for Windows, it will, unfortunately for some, leave some computers behind, uh, although uh, Windows 10, uh, the end of life support date certainly isn't until 2025. Hopefully this has helped. As always, hit the, the like, thumbs up thing of this has helped and your comments we always read uh, in the comments section below. Always welcome. Thanks for watching. Let's say bye for now. Computrain on Facebook and online at www.computroon.co.uk